and sweet potato island watchers. So as the new semester is about to start, there were quite a lot of people asking us to recommend some courses to take in NTU. Yeah, so here I am. Um, in this video, I'm going to recommend you guys some very informative and also very fun courses to take at our school. Mm -hmm. So before I start recommending the courses, there's first thing I need to tell you um, about our course selection system. Mm -hmm. um, in NTU, it's the random system. In other countries, as I believe, like for example in Korea, it's the first come, first get system. So um, when you register for courses, you need to be as quick as possible. But it's not like that in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. The system that we use in NTU is the random system, which means you pick all the courses that you want to take but that doesn't mean that you can uh, take all of the course, all of those courses. But the school randomly gives you some courses that you can take. So it's like you pick 20 courses, but at the end you might only get like five courses. So um, in the period that you select courses, it's the best thing that you pick as many courses as you can. So this is the course selection system page that we use. So you log into this page um, and then search for all the courses that you want to take. Mm -hmm. um, I'll first begin the course recommendation with some courses conducted in English. So the first course I would like to recommend is called Introduction to Southeast Asia, History and Archaeology. And in Chinese, it's called Dongnanya Li Shi Yu Um It's open by Professor Takashi Sakai. And um, yeah, as you can see, he's um, a professor from Japan. This is a three hour long course on Thursday from 10.20 to 1.10, yeah. And the prof professor is an expert in Southeast Asia. So through this course, you can learn a lot about those Southeast Asian countries, culture, and also history and archeology. span um, I took this course last semester, and last semester he talked about Myanmar, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and also Thailand. Yeah. Um, and while he gives lectures, he also plays quite a lot of re related videos in order to help our understanding. Yeah. I guess the most important thing is how he grades us, right? So in this course, we don't have any midterms or finals but all he cares about is our attendance and also the final report that we write. And the report that we have to write is mostly about the remains that we learned during the course. So if you pay attention to the course and if you understand well about the Southeast Asian culture, then it's not going to be anything difficult for you. And for this course, last semester I got an A- minus for your reference. The next course that I would like to recommend is called Biology in Movies. In Chinese, it's called Xi Shuo Sheng Wu Shui. And it's opened by the professor Cao Shun Cheng. Yeah. And this course is on Monday from 10.20 to 12.10. It's only a two hour course, which is very chill. And as you can guess from the title of this, of this course, Biology in Movies, um, this course mainly deals about biology and we learn biology through movies. So um, in this course we watch like movies such as Jurassic Park, Lorenzo Oil, um, Wall-E, My Sister's Keeper, Gotta Call, something like that. And you know all of those movies kind of um, contain some some issues about biology or some concepts in biology, right? So um, by watching movies, we can kind of grasp the concept easily and also the professor also, also explains about the theory and um, concept in a very simple way. So yeah, I really recommend this course. As I remember, I watched like about 10 movies in total. Um, and in the first week, we watch a film, and then in the, uh, in the next week, uh, we don't watch a film. But the professor gives lecture about the movie and also the biological concept. And the way how he grades us is by our attendance and also the essay that we write. 
So every time we every time we watch a movie, watch one film, we have to write an essay. And the due date is the day that the professor gives lecture about the movie. So for example, um, we watch a movie on like August 1st. Right? We watch a movie on August 1st, then we need to um, hand in our essay by August 8th. Otherwise, we get an F. And um, he says he takes attendance, but he doesn't really do the roll call. But he sometimes randomly does the roll call, which means you always have to be there. And for this course, I got an A+. Plus. Yeah, so as long as you always attend the class and you hand in the essay um, on the day that you have to hand in, then you get a really good grade. I really, I fully, really, really recommend this course. Okay. The third course that I would like to recommend is titled Film and Social Culture in Taiwan. And in Chinese, it's Taiwan Dianing with Taiwan Shouhui. And it's opened by Professor Guo Ren Feng. And as I remember, this course was on Thursday. And as you can see from the title, um, this film, uh, this course also is about the film and also about Taiwan's culture. Yeah. So in this course, the professor talks about the film history in Taiwan because Taiwan is a very, like Taiwan's films are very developed, right? So he talks about the history of film in Taiwan and also some Taiwan's social issues such as gender issues, identity politics because Taiwan has a lot of tribes and also some immigrant spouses, um, migrant workers, something like that. So this is a course that you can learn a lot about Taiwan. So this course also doesn't have any midterms or finals. All you have to do is for the midterm, um, you either need to hand in the midterm paper, like midterm essay, or do the midterm presentation. Um, and for the final, you just need to hand in the final paper, which is about five pages long. Yeah. And when I took this course, um, I took it with Ashley, and for the midterm, we did the presentation. The last course conducted in English that I would like to introduce is called Women in Taiwanese Society. In Chinese, it's Nu Xing Yu Taiwan Shou Hui. Yeah. And it's opened by the same professor as Film and Social Culture in Taiwan, Professor Guo Ren Feng. And the course style is very, very similar to the one that I just introduced. Yeah. And this course is also on Thursday. So in this course, Professor mainly deals about some issues related to women, like uh, something like feminism movement, um, corporate women issues, LGBT issues, and something like that. Um, and so since it's the same professor as the film and Taiwanese society class, um, the grading system is also the same. You either need to write two essays or do one presentation and write an essay, something like that. Yeah. So it's very simple and very easy. I really recommend. Oh yeah, and for those two classes, um, the female, the woman class, and also this Taiwan's movie class, I both got an A.